In this video, I will show you how analog read works. Analog read allows you to convert an analog voltage into a digital value. On Arduino Uno, you can use a zero to a five, marked as analog in. Arduino divides the range from zero to five volt into 10 bits. Then 10 bits is 1024 different values. If an analog voltage comes in, for example, 2.5 volt, this will be translated into the value 511. The problem is that Arduino uses its own supply voltage as reference. And the supply voltage isn't super stable. It is dependent on the current consumption. So the supply voltage is not exactly 5 volt. This would result in wrong readings. This is especially true if you power something very power hungry off your 5 volt pin on your Arduino. One way to work around this problem is to use an analog reference. And Arduino Uno has built in a 1.1 volt analog reference, which is considered stable even if the supply voltage fluctuates. However, it limits our range to 1.1 volts. If we still put in 2.5 volts, it will always read 1023 because that's the maximum value. What we need in this case is a voltage divider to get down into the range of the ADC. Let's see how this works in practice. To keep it simple, I will use the supply voltage as reference in this video. First, I need a serial connection with 9600 baud. Inside of a loop, I will send back analog read zero. Upload. As you can see, everything is in one line. The values change. But if we take analog in zero and now connect it to ground, we will read zero all of the time. And uh, Arduino ID actually has a serial plotter, which doesn't work. <laughs> we need serial print line. Yeah. So now we get a new line for every value, which also allows serial plotting. And if I connect analog zero to ground, it will go straight to zero. And if I connect it to five volts, it will go straight up to 1023. And then we also have 3.3, which is somewhere in between. And if we keep it floating, yeah, it will do random stuff because it's not connected to anything and if i touch it it will change and if i touch ground and touch the adc i will act as resistor to ground okay before we go to the exercise i will show you what a floating point variable is so there is a variable called float and it can be 5.0 for example now, one thing is important. If you do a calculation with floating point variables, it's important to have at least one of them with a point. Let me show you what I mean. If we have a float voltage, five divided by two, we would expect 2.5, but the result actually is 2.00, which is wrong because it does an integer calculation and integer is getting rid of everything behind the comma. So 2.5 is two, even though we store it inside a float. So we need 5.0 divided by two in order to calculate using floats. And then we get the correct value, which is 2.5 volts. And your exercise now is, I'm interested in the real voltage that is measured by Arduino. Stop the video and solve the exercise right now. 
we divide 5.0 by 1023 because 1023 equals 5 volts and then we multiply it with analog read 0. Let's see what happens. I connect analog 0 to ground. It reads 0, 0.00, which is correct. If I connect it to 5, it reads 5.0. And if I connect it to 3.3, .3, it reads 3.25. So it is actually not exactly 3.3, .3, but 3.25. And one last thing I will show you is a potentiometer. A potentiometer consists of two resistors and if you turn the knob both of them will change but the total value from start to end will stay the same. And we can make use of this by connecting the start to 5 and the end to 0 and then the thing in between, the thing in between I will connect to our analog input and if I turn the knob it will change the value and this will be even more beautiful in this plotter view right here. And you may say this is super slow. Yes I agree. I will change to 10 milliseconds. Now it will send values like crazy. Boom. From 0 to 5. Isn't that amazing? Okay, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. You know? Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or I have a different solution to my exercise. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.